we got a rock hard 4x4 winch mounting plate that mounts to the factory JK bumper and a rugged ridge nautic series 12,500 pound winch. I've got some exciting news coming up here in a minute so let me get this winch mounted up and uh, I'll get back at you with this exciting news. Well that's not what you, you want to happen in, in the middle of a install. <laughs> I guess now I gotta go find another ratchet so thanks Stanley Tools. <laughs> Let's try that again. This time we'll try with Mastercraft. Alrighty, so I'm about 15 minutes into this. So I removed the uh, plastic cover that covers the frame rails there. Uh, unhooked the fog light light. Don't forget to do that. They say you don't have to remove the bumper completely, but I'll be honest, I tried to slide it in there without it and figured, you know what? I'm gonna take it right off so I can actually make sure I've get getting everything lined up, although it's only Two bolt holes I don't want to mess around and then of course the air dam on the bottom you got to remove that you don't have to remove it right away all the way just take off the uh, front ones and let it hang down and you can get your arm up in there so yeah I'm gonna uh, line this baby up and go from there alrighty so she's all lined up now all we got to do is push it down and then uh, put in our two bolts one on either side and we will be back to putting the bumper on alrighty she is in now I'm gonna line the bumper up and then uh, line everything up and cinch it down right now it's just sitting in there I put the bolts in uh, hand tight so I can make sure everything's lined up correctly so. winch plate is on I've sat the winch on there it's not bolted down as you can see it's loose um, one thing I did notice, I put the front air dam on before bolting the winch. Not a good idea, because what I wasn't thinking is you can't really get all the way under here, so you have to go from the underside. So, but all in all, I mean, this has only taken 30, what, are, what time are we here? 36 minutes it's taken me to uh, to do this. So, yeah, overall I'm thoroughly impressed with that bracket and it actually looks to me I, I really like the look of that and some of you may be asking why I didn't go with a full bumper well this is going to be daily driven for a little while and I didn't want that several hundred pounds of weight and this bracket weighs I don't know I'm just guessing maybe 20 pounds so yeah let's uh, wire this baby up and get at it another thing I forgot to mention it doesn't really call for uh, Loctite in the installation manual it's got uh, lock washers but I'm a big believer in Loctite and a lock washer especially on something that's going to be you know hard to access like you're not going to be able to gain access to those bolts very easily so for a sense of security I'll go with both she's all bolted up got the uh, solenoid pack mounted I opted to uh, mount it directly above the motor it gives you four different positions but I thought that best suited what I wanted. Um, my theory was it kind of blocked a little bit less of the rad, putting it off to the side. Uh, one thing I will note is uh, hook your bottom wires up before you uh, mount your winch on your plate because that was terrible. <laughs> but, uh, woo, focus. Aside from that, I'm going to wire this thing up right now, which, I mean, if you're installing your own winch, you pretty much know run negative to negative, positive to positive, um, and there's no need for an external relay. It's all contained inside the box. So, yeah. All wired in. What I did is I fed the wires through here. There's a little hole right beside the power steering reservoir, and I just ran it along the uh, inner fender right up to the battery. So, let's uh, plug this in, preferably the right way, <laughs> and we'll give it a shot. Let's see here. Come to you. All right, there we go. We're plugged in. Let's go out. Nice. This is not tensioned. I do have to take it out and tension it, but I'll do that after. Completely done. So all I'm going to do now is uh, tidy up what little bit of a mess I have. 
And then uh, I'm going to head upstairs and tell you the exciting news. All right, there she is, all cleaned up, tested it out. I got to uh, tension the cable. I'll go and do that after. Take the kids out for a little ride. It's storming right now. But uh, so I got that exciting news in the back of my Jeep here. There we are. You might be asking yourself, Street Stomper, why do you have another winch in the back of your Jeep? You just installed one. Well, here it is. We partnered up with the guys over at OkanaganOffRoad.com, and I'm going to give this away. Um, when we reach 1,000 subscribers, we are going to give this away. So in order to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment on this video, and turn on notifications. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers, somebody will get this Rugged Ridge Nautic Series winch. It is 12,500 pound capacity, and this is open to all Canadian and U.S. residents. So, yeah, this is exciting times, and I appreciate the guys over at OkanaganOffRoad.com for giving us the opportunity to do this and to grow our channel. So, yeah, let's get at it, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.